Hi everyone, you wanna see some of my greatest efficiency tricks that I use on my iPhone and my Mac? Here we go. Hey, Paul Akers here with Yoshi. We're gonna show you the most amazing text-to-speech tricks ever. In my opinion, this has saved me so much time and everybody I teach these tricks to go, wow, that's amazing. It's so easy, watch this. Okay, my dog Yoshi and I are gonna show you our favorite tricks on the iPhone. This is how you become very, very efficient. So, first of all, if I'm in an email, a lot of times I don't want to read an email because it's too many words. So I just t simply take two fingers and swipe down from the top and it starts to read. Now what's really cool about this is I can speed it up with that one. I can slow it up right there. You can see that I can hit that and it actually shows exactly where it's reading. It's very, very cool when you touch that again here and you hit that, it turns the whole thing off. Very cool. Another way to do this is called text to speech is to hold your finger on there, select all, lightly touch it again, and hit the speak button. Now, it will speak everything. So these are the two ways I do it. Now you're gonna say, well, how do you do that, Paul? Well, first of all, you go pause, let's stop it, and I'll show you the next trick. You wanna hit your settings button right there. And when you go to your settings, it's another trick. You pull it down all the way, and you get a search engine. That search engine only searches your settings. So I wanna go to speech. So I'm gonna go S P E C speech general accessibilities speak selection. A speak button will appear when you select text. So make sure that's on and you'll get the select all and speak button and the pause. And then speak screen, this is where you draw two fingers down. Make sure that's clicked on and highlight content. That's make sure that one's on. Then you can control the speed at which it reads right there. So it's very content. cool. As you move that, that changes it. Now there's one other cool trick. Let's say I'm in iBooks and I click on that and then I have a PDF. I'll just choose this one. This is a swimming PDF. Again, two fingers down Except from the top and it'll read it. Put the it over to the side the and away you go. Very cool. Now, the cool thing about this is when you're on a website, okay, so you go to a website and you're on a web page, here's best trips in Spain. Again, pull down from the top. Look how cool that is. Isn't this amazing? So this will read anything on your screen fast and easy. Whatever you select, right? So there that's selected and then speak. There you go. My next favorite thing is using Siri for everything. I don't even have to touch my phone other than just to say the words, hey Siri, what's the weather like tomorrow? Should be sunny tomorrow. Hey Siri, send a new email to Leanne Akers. What's the subject of the email? Test email. What would you like your email to say? Hey Leanne, isn't it amazing what I can do with Siri? Here's your email message to Leanne Akers. It says, hey Leanne, isn't it amazing what I can do with Siri? Ready to send it? Send it, yes. Okay, I'll send it. Hey Siri, search the internet for endless pools. Okay, I found this on the web for endless pools. Take a look. Okay, so now let's transition to my Mac and let me show you how I use text-to-speech there. So another trick that I do is when I'm in an email, again, we have this long email right here. So I command all, selects it all, and then if I go option escape, Hi, Paul. It starts to read the text to me. Now, you might ask me how I did that. I go option escape and it stops. This is how you do it. You go to your settings and you go under text to speech and you click on this one right here that says select speak selected text when the key is pressed. But here's another improvement that I made. It says change the keys. Now, I'm gonna change the keys to not option escape, but to command S because I'm hitting command A already. So I click on this and then I go command S and I change the key for the shortcut. I go okay. So now the reason why that's better is watch what happened. I go to this email and I go command A 
and then Command S. Hi, Paul. And it does it instantly, and then I go Command S again, and it stops. So I'm hitting the same Command button for A and S. It's faster, easier, less chance of mistakes, and that's how I let Siri read everything to me. So the way I normally do text-to-speech, I go Command A on my keyboard, and then I right click, I go to speech, start speaking. You see the number of steps there, three steps. But if I inadvertently hit the wrong one or slide off of it, then it doesn't work. But if I do it like that, it works great. Now when I want to stop though, I have to right click, go to speech, and then stop speaking. And I can hit it wrong there again, but there I go, I stopped. But now the way I do it, it's so much easier. Command all, Command S, Command S and it stopped. This is a 400% improvement in time. Sure, it's only a few seconds, but when you have to do these kinds of things all the time and you make your processes very clean and very easy, it makes a difference. So there you go. You've got an iPhone, you want to be efficient. There's so many cool things you can do with this. I can teach you all day long all the cool things I do. Yoshi, signing out. See you later.